Dito kami ngayon sa Ormoc City upang puntahan ang ating secret club. Pero bago pero bago guys, so uh, pupunta kami na food court upang kumain before kami Nandito na tayo sa ating secret location. Dito kami upang matuklasan ang kagandahan ng simbahang ito. Dito din kami para magpahalaga at bigyang pansin ang kagandahan ng simbahang ito. St. Peter and Paul Parish is a religious built heritage. Its history started in the year 1597 with the arrival of the Jesuits who founded the Church of Warmo under the heavenly protection of the Apostles St. Peter and Paul. Overcoming difficulties, the early missionaries ventured into a systematic task of introducing Christianity to the communities in around present-day Ormo, even establishing a visit as far as Bye-bye. The Jesuit presence in Ormo ended with their expulsion from the country in 1768. That same year, the Augustinians took over the Jesuit mission in Ormoc in their town administration of Palampon until their eventual departure from Leyte in 1834. Handling the administration of the parish in the western side to the diocesan clergy of Cebu. Soon after, the parish of Ormoc was re-established in 1850 with the secular priests belonging to the diocese of Cebu. Throughout these years, There has been a continued presence of the Christian community who have been constantly invoked the divine protection in the intercession of her heavenly patrons, St. Peter and Paul. This year, 2013 marks the 416th year of the annual celebration in honor of these two pillars of the Church. The present-day Church of the Parish of St. Peter and Paul dates its original foundation and expanded throughout the centuries. The present structure emerged after the bombings and destruction during the Second World War. The sanctuary and its original altar, with the twin five-foot images of Saints Peter and Paul, right at the center on the upper portion of the altar, and their images of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, flanking on the side of the apse, have been renovated in the mid-1960s, right after the Second Vatican Council, the demands of the new liturgy. The old altar was torn down to give way to freestanding altar at the center of the sanctuary, and bigger six-foot Gothic images 
clearly visible from the entrance of the church, replaced the original images of the patrons at the upper of the apse. In the 1980s, images of the Sacred Heart and the Immaculate Heart were once again taken down. The year 2007 saw the construction and new reredus, or retablo, in the sanctuary. The images and their positions were retained but now closed in Baroque altarpiece.